Hi everybody, today we're doing a review of the Samsung 4K Smart TV. This is a 43 inch version of the TV sets. Uh, there are quite a few different sizes out there, but I find out a 43 inch. Um, a lot of people like kind of like this size, it's not too big, it's not too small. And there are a lot of use cases for this particular TV, and I'm actually going to showcase a couple that I personally use myself. So let's uh, take it out of the box, set it up. And let's uh, look at this TV in a bit more detail. So I always recommend with large screen TVs, preferably have like a large surface, like a floor to work off of. You know, never put this on a table where the table is actually smaller than the TV, because you know, you could damage the TV, especially the screen. One of the feet here. Left foot, right foot. Power cable. Manuals and another remote. Slowly. There you go. And this one is here for now. Okay, so what I've done here, I have a big enough table, it's actually bigger than the TV, so I'm actually going to work on this tabletop. Uh, so let's just put on the feet now and, and put the TV up. Uh, one other thing to note too, I mean you can warm out these TVs because they're very light, um, but this particular one I'm going to just have it stand on the table, um, just my personal preference. So I'm still keeping the cover on the TV, just want to show you where the feet go. Left is the right foot, and it's the left foot. And see these little holes here? We just attach the feet to those holes. So I'm guessing I'm going to need a screwdriver of some sort. So I have my trusty screwdriver. physical attributes. I mean, they're very clean. The bezels are getting ever, ever smaller. I mean, this bezel is like a half an inch all the way around. Um, well, around this part. It's a little thicker here, but all in all, it's still a pretty nice small bezel. You have the little Samsung logo here at the bottom, and two cute little feet on the edges here. Um, let's look at the back. And as you can see, this TV, I just easily just lifted it around, right? These are pretty light. They don't really weigh much compared to the older TVs of back in the day, right? Those required at least two people to move them, but these are nice and light. Um, speaking of heavy TVs, if any of you guys ever had those plasma TVs from back in, I think they were back in the 90s, big screen plasma TVs, those are heavy, <laughs> right? But this, this is definitely not that type of technology. It's very light. So look at the dimensions here. So from a fitness perspective, if you're looking at wall mounting it, uh, you're looking at about roughly, it's about, about three inches, uh, the thickest part about three inches. And from a height perspective, we're looking at about roughly, let's see, yeah, roughly about 20, just over 22 uh, inches. And I'm talking about the screen itself, not including the feet uh, high. Um, so 22 inches high, that's if you're looking at wall mounting it, um, but there's about a three inch depth to the TV. And from a length perspective, we're looking at about, uh, about 38 inches. So 38 inches wide, 22 inches high, and a three inch depth. And that's only if you're considering mounting this on the wall, you know, dimensions can't hurt. Now, yes, the TV of course does come with its own remote. What TV does not? Um, but what I wanted to show you is where the physical on off button is on this TV. It's actually on the underside of the TV. Um, so I just put it on this back so you can see, but it's right here. Here is where you, that's the on off switch right there, um, the manual switch. Now, in addition to the on off switch being on the bottom, we also have speakers. So that's one right there. There's the heat vent. And right here is another speaker. So 
So when you turn the TV on for the first time, you get this lovely intro and then it tells you what you can do is download the Smart Things app from the Apple App Store if you have an iPhone or from the Google Play Store if you have an Android device. Of course, it does the Galaxy App Store as well, which is a Samsung oriented store. So let's just follow the instructions and press the right key here on our remote, our trusty remote right here. And here's where you can set up your connections. And of course I don't have anything connected right now, but if you did, you can put your antenna in for cable TV, or hook up your HDMI input signals. And yes, I don't want to connect any devices right now. And here's where you set up your wireless connection. Pretty straightforward. So you'd set your connection up in your home, connect your Wi-Fi, and you are good to go. So what's cool about this, when you're signing in with your Samsung account, um, if you are already a member, you simply sign in here. But if you're a new user, you can create an account here, or you can create with your, your PayPal um, account, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's go on. So TV setup summary, we have our wireless network set up. And now let's go to next. And here is your smart hub. So we can create our own smart hub. Um, of course, we have all the popular apps here. Of course, the newly launched Disney Plus is here. Uh, you have Facebook Watch, you have the Weather Network, uh, TED, Bloomberg, for you financial wizards out there who love to trade. Uh, you have the Vimeo app, uh, UFC, one of my favorites, Sirius XM, Plex, Deezer, uh, quite a few you can connect it to. Right, so here is where you can actually um, see your um, TV guide. So what you would normally do, um, if you have cable TV, you can actually access the cable TV guide here. Um, or if you are a cheap person like myself, um, you can just connect an external antenna to this and scan for free over the air digital channels. And yes, many cities do have a ton of free over the air high definition digital channels. Um, and here up in Canada where I live, I get you know quite a few. So when you scan those channels, um, you can actually see them on the guide as well. So which is a really nice feature. You can see when the shows are going to start and end and the time and everything. Really, really cool. And that's with the free content that you get over the year. Um, here's so you can see your channel list and of course your schedule managers right here. So that's under the live TV cable. Here, of course, it's our ever popular Netflix app. I don't have to show you how that works. That's pretty straightforward. Um, you go here, you can sign in and you can access your content immediately and you can, you know, Netflix and you know what. Uh, so after that, we have Prime Video, uh, that's our Amazon uh, um, streaming service. We have, of course, YouTube, Google Play, Cineplex Store, Spotify, Gallery and Internet. So a lot of really cool things here. So let's go to the Internet here and show you what the surfing experience is like. See, here you are. So here is where you can actually type your, you know, um, use your default looking remote here and you can uh, literally use this. This should actually move the, um, sorry, sorry, can you see my hand right here? So you can actually move the little cursor around the screen by using the action, the, the arrows on the control, which is pretty nice. It doesn't feel cumbersome the you know the cursor moves pretty that's pretty straightforward right up down left and right um and then you can go up here and then you can type um but then what you can do here you use the keyboard here right so i put you know www whatever www and then yeah so let me google let's go to cnn just for a second yeah all right, but it is a bit cumbersome typing with uh, you know, your remote control. Um, so I do have an accessory that I recently got. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second. And it's really designed for you know using your TV uh, to surf the web. Let's go here to YouTube. Um, 
right? Um, it's it's really good for using smart TVs to surf the web. Um, so I'll show you those two devices uh, in a moment. Um, but anyway, this is just showing you what the you know the website you know when you're surfing what it looks like as YouTube and whatever. So let's get out of that. Let's press exit. All right. Um, so Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, Google, blah 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 blah, gallery and internet. So of course you can press down because I believe there's some more. Oh, it's just to remove and remove. So you can actually move and remove these apps. So you can pretty much customize, you know, your 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 application hub, so to speak. Um, and here, let's go here and it's apps, apps portal. Um, and here is where you can actually download and get different apps for your TV, right? The ones that we saw were in by default, but you can select all of these apps, the Weather Network, BoxSeek, uh, Carrera, there's a ton of apps. Yup TV is there as well. Um, and then we have them grouped by content, so music and radio, apps to kill time, uh, by genre. Video, sports, games. Oh, let's look at some games here. All right, so these are all the games in here. Wow, quite a few, as you can see. Bubble, 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 double, drink, crush, quadrix, nut war, jumpoon, rapid drift. So these are not your, of course, high end um, like PlayStation or um, Nintendo Switch games, but they are fun games, um, and a lot of them look like some popular titles from back in the day. Oops, press the wrong button here. Let's go back. Let's go back here. Apps right here. So these are not like your typical high-end PlayStation or Nintendo Switch games, but the graphics are pretty nice looking at the, uh, the t these tiles here. Um, so these, these do look like a lot of fun. Um, and as you can see, there are a lot of them. There's driving games, puzzle games, uh, some gambling there, uh, some tank games, uh, more racing games there, some side scrolling, adventure games. Wow, quite a few. Space Invaders, K141. Okay, so anyway, that's the games. Let me just return out of that. Let's look into the sports tab here. So here we have sports themed content. Um, of course, my UFC is there. You have TSN, you know, racing, quite a few uh, uh, sports channels there as well. So let's get out of there. And then the video genre, um, we have Disney Plus, Britbox by BBC, and ITV, UN. So here you have all of your video, uh, video hub content. And there's a lot of them, as you can see here. A lot of video um, applications here. Go for TV, Squad, Funimation. Wow, I can I can be here all day. And of course, there's there's Netflix, which is installed. There's YouTube Kids, which is good. BBC News, Play Kids Pre um, Play Play Kids Preschool. Wow. So that's the video uh, tab. Quite a couple of uh, apps in there. Um, so yeah, and then just quickly look at the music and radio tab. Spotify is there. Um, the Conductor, Com Radio, Napster. Hey, Napster's still around, wow. Uh, Sirius XM, a couple of cool ones there. Apps to Kill Time. Um, so these are like, well, we saw some of these from the game app, so I guess they just put a mixture of the games uh, in here and video apps as well, right? So a lot of the same stuff, just in a different, just presented differently. Smart view enabled. So this is where you have apps that more easily connect your mobile device to your TV. Um, what I love about Samsung devices, I actually have a Samsung Note 10 Plus. Um, and it's, you know, you can easily stream your content that you're watching on YouTube, for example, right onto your TV. You just press the uh, connect button to stream and it can, you, you automatically connect to your TV. So another great feature that comes with this Samsung TV, um, and I know it works very well with Samsung phones, um, is you can actually wirelessly connect 
uh, and stream whatever contents on your phone on your TV with one simple click. See right here in the top right hand corner, you may not see it, it's a wireless button, it's a Wi-Fi, like a wireless connect button. They press that and then it says cast to TV Samsung 6 series, yes. And if you just wait for a second here, let me press it hard enough, there you go. We're gonna connect. And the smart device says, is asking for my permission, so I'm gonna say allow, let me get the remote. Yes, allow. And if you just wait for a second. See, so I'm right now streaming the content that's normally on my phone, it's now on the television set. Now, isn't that great? Right now, to, I'm sure most of you watching this video that is like, yeah, whatever, I've seen that before. But for me, I recently found this feature, so uh, that's why I think it's a big thing. <laughs> right? And yeah, and it's really cool, especially if you're watching YouTube content on your TV. Sorry, YouTube content on your phone, and you have one of these cool um, TVs. Uh, you just press that now to to stop streaming onto your TV. Right here, this is the the, sing, the symbol. I don't know if you can really see it. It's like a TV screen with a wireless, a Wi-Fi signal on it. Anyway, you might not see it too well. I'm just gonna press that, and then I stop casting, and then we're back to normal. All right? Very very easy. And what else? News and weather. There you go, Bloomberg Weather Network. Let's see the Weather Network. All right, so you can go here, you can add it to home. Let's go back out, go back out. Smart Life on Content Preview. All right, let's look at the Smart Life one here. So market wall for you traders, I guess. Um, MP3 Kieran. Okay, so anyway, so that's the app, so as you can see, this smart TV comes packed with a ton of apps. You can customize your um, your little app, your app hub. Um, so let's get out of there, All right? And so and then, so I have. I'm gonna keep these here at the bottom because I use most of these anyway. Uh, but as you can see, you can customize this uh, this band of apps here.
So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison. So on the le on the right, we have our 43-inch um, smart TV from Samsung. And on the left here, we have our 55-inch uh, smart TV from Samsung. They're both 4K TVs. Um, I did do a review of the 55-inch. Uh, I think it was this time last year, actually. So that's the one on the left. But as you can see, you know, you know there there is obviously an obvious size a difference in the size but it depends on what you want to use your tv for i mean if you have a smaller room um and you also want you know something that can double as a a, a decent sized monitor for computer use maybe you want to use the 43 inch tv uh, on the right uh, but if you want a, a larger a larger screen you want a more immersive experience when you're watching your action movies and your favorite movies on netflix and you know uh, disney plus and whatnot you may want to uh, get the 55 inch, um, but you know it depends on what your your tastes are and what your needs are. Um, but other than that, these are both two very very good uh, um, budget um, 4K TVs. Um, and I say budget with a capital B because that's uh, we're in a, in a time now where 4K TVs are affordable. Obviously, because now there's now 8K and you know uh, there's more um, higher resolution TVs out there. But these are very very good 4K TVs. Okay, so that's just a side-by-side -side comparison, just looking at, you know, what the TVs look like in terms of size. Uh, let's quickly look at the backs and then just show you the difference in the ports that you have for both sets of TVs. So just looking at the backs of the TVs, that's the 55 inch. Um, and as you can see, the design on the backs are completely different, obviously. Um, but that's the two of them side-by-side. -side. Now the 55 inch has a digital audio out, which is optical. There's a USB uh, port there as well. We have our antenna in um, coax terminal there. Uh, we have our LAN port and we have HDMI 1 and HDMI 2. So that's two HDMI ports. And down here we have our power port. So here's the back of the 43 inch um, TV. So here we have two HDMI ports. Um, this one also has the audio return channel feature, ARC. Um, and all that is, is it's all, you can connect um, your, you can use your HDMI cable and you can connect to a sound bar. Uh, so you can get your sound playing in your sound bar via your HDMI port. That's, so that's all that is. Um, here we have our um, antenna, which is your, your coax connection. And then below that we have your LAN connection there. And then here obviously is your digital audio out, your optical port. And here we have our USB port right over here. And down here we have our power port. Now, now in addition to just watching TV and consuming really cool content like Netflix and, and Disney Plus, um, you may also just want to use your your TV as a computer monitor, right? Um, and you can surf the web, for example. Uh, so this is uh, one of my personal favorites. It's the Logitech Bluetooth keyboard. It comes with a built-in wireless touchpad, uh, mouse buttons. Uh, there's media control buttons on here as well. These keys actually are self, uh, do illuminate at night, um, and it comes with a mini USB port that you use to charge the, the battery that's built in to this uh, Logitech uh, keyboard. Um, and this is actually designed specifically for use cases like this where you're in your living room and you just want to surf uh, the web uh, on your smart, smart TV and you can type of course and, and do, do all the other nice bits and pieces. Um, so I do have links to where you can get this uh, below the screen, uh, below this video. Uh, so be sure if you want to go ahead and click on that link. So to set it up on the TV, it's very, very straightforward. So all you, have, all you have to do is plug this little USB dongle, I call it, into the USB port in the TV at the back of the television, sorry. Like that. And that's it. All you have to do now is turn on your keyboard and you're automatically connected to the TV. So now we've connected the keyboard. And I didn't do anything else and we're automatically connected. So you can just easily navigate your your way around the TV using the keyboard. Very, very simple. Um, so I was gonna to go to, let's go to the internet here, for example. 
So I press enter, internet is loading, and here we are. So now I can use my touchpad, as you can see, I can easily navigate my way around the screen. And let's quickly go to, for example, uh, let's go to Google here. And uh, let's type, um, let's see what's in the news today. All right. And you can just go out there and you can just easily navigate. Use a touchpad, of course, to navigate your way around the screen. Okay, so I'm here. Let's go to the website. Let's type. All right, straight onto the website. And excuse me, my internet's a little slow today. I'm not sure why. And uh, any day now we will get the internet, uh, the website on the screen. But as you can see, it's very, very, very easy to use. Um, lovely big keys and they're back with. And by the way, I do have a link below this video and there should be a link on the video itself where I do have a, a YouTube review of this uh, keyboard. So if you're interested in that review, go check out that video uh, in the link below because I will have it there in the description section as well. And if you want to buy yourself one of these and get yourself one of these cool, cool, um, cool gadgets, you can get them as well as a link below the video. Go check it out. So uh, another really cool accessory to have for, especially if you have a 4K smart TV uh, like this one from Samsung, is this thing here. It's a little dongle, two little dongles of wire between the two of them. Uh, what this is, this is called a Microsoft Wireless Display Adapter. And what it does, it gives you the capability of connecting your Windows PC or laptop uh, or tablet, uh, which is Windows based, um, to your TV wirelessly. So there's no messy cables or anything like that. Comes in handy if you want to be productive. And because remember earlier, I did talk about using this monitor as a computer monitor, right? Because it's 43 inches. For me, I mean, it could be a really cool computer monitor in addition to being a television. Um, so I can get a lot more work done, right? Uh, so to actually set this up, you one end has a USB plug. You plug this into the USB port in the back of your TV. This is the HDMI port uh, plug. You plug this into the HDMI port in the back of your television set. And then all you do is go on to, you know, you connect to the HDMI um, port on your screen. Go on to your Windows device. And then you just uh, slide slide this window to the from you know to, this is windows 10 so if you're familiar with windows 10 you just slide to the left and then you press connect and then you're going to see the name of your microsoft wireless display adapter it's going to have actually have an id which we're going to see in a second you press that and you're connected that simple and then it's, you treat it like a second monitor so you can either you know duplicate what's on your on the screen on your laptop or you can actually extend it so you have two different screens so again, it's great for like spreadsheets or just you, know, you can be working and you can watch, uh, you know, you can stream in Netflix or whatever from your laptop, or you might have other video content on your laptop that you want to stream and watch on your big screen while you're working on your laptop, right? And what's really cool about this, it's so small and portable. You can take this with you when you travel. I travel quite a bit and, you know, in every hotel room, what do you have? A large screen TV. So this little device, it's a really, really cool companion to have as well while you're traveling to give you that additional screen for your your laptop or tablet to connect to. <clears throat> so if you you know you want to check out that leak that that review that I did on this, I do have a link below uh, where you can go check it out. And if you want to get yourself one of these or a couple of them, uh, I also have a link to where you can get these online as well. Uh, and you can get them uh, pretty decent price, not that expensive. Because uh, and it's a very very good uh, accessory to have with you. Um, so let me just quickly set this up to show you how easy it is. There's a free USB port here. Plug this into the HDMI. This is one like that. And then I just go here, my Surface Pro. Swipe to the left. Press connect. It's searching, okay, there it is, MS Display Adapter 94. Well, before I go and click on that, let's just go here and find my HDMI source. It will be HDMI 1. Oops, let's go back here. Uh, HDMI 1. 
And here we are, MS Display Adapter 94. So that's it. So all I do now is click on the MS Display Adapter 94. Connecting to Richard Surface 3. Yeah, this is the Surface Pro 3. Very old, but very dependable. And there you see you have my duplicated screen. And what's really cool about this as well, it does just, you just don't duplicate or, or wirelessly connect your video. You also uh, connect the wirelessly, wirelessly connect the sound as well. So you hear the sound through the TV, not from the laptop. And I'll show you. I'm just putting this YouTube clip here. And yes, did it? This, this yes, and yes, console. So you can hear the sound coming through the TV, right? So video and sound, everything wirelessly through that adapter, right? PS4 action. So I, I had to change my shirt, guys. I spilled some lunch on it. <laughs> So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, this was the review of the NU6900 series um, 4K Smart TV by Samsung. 
uh, UHD TV, all right? So as you can see, like I just played some Street Fighter V on there on the PlayStation 4, you can see how crisp the graphics are. And what I like about video games especially is that you can really test the TV when it comes to like uh, refresh rates and stuff. Now this is, uh, I believe I have my notes over here, yeah. motion rate um, motion rate 120, so 120 hertz. So that's good for like, you know, watching fast moving uh, movies, uh, sports, uh, video games, as you can see. Um, there was little bleeding or blurring when you have fast, fast moving um, sprites on the TV and stuff like that in the video game, uh, pretty cool. What I like about this as well is the contrast, right? You have a very, very, very deep, rich blacks. Um, it brings out the color, um, the color palettes. Um, so it's really, really nice TV to watch. I mean, I mean it's Samsung, right? I mean, <laughs> you can't get any better quality than that. And of course, you know, it's a smart TV. And, and, and if you've noticed, you know, there, there seems to be this, this convergence of the app experience. You know, from, from the smartphone to the tablet, uh, now to your television, right? The three of them are pretty much attached at the hip, but you have that similar experience. Um, and as you can see, there is a huge plethora of apps that you can get on this TV. Um, and you know, you can actually customize your, your, your little app bar along the bottom there uh, with your, you know, your Netflixes and your, your Disney Pluses and, and, and Amazon Prime stuff. It's all there, right? Um, it's pretty cool. And you saw it already, I did a little comparison this is the 43 inch uh, TV, uh, and this is part of the NU 6900 series of um, uh, TVs that came up from Samsung. So I showed you earlier the 55 inch, uh, the big brother to this, uh, put them side by side and you can see, you know, so depending on the size of the room you have, um, if you're gonna use this as a, as, a computer, as a computer screen as well, you know, it depends. You can pick the size that you would like, right? Uh, depending on your needs and, of course, on your budget. Because, of course, the 55 inch is a little bit more expensive. But both TVs are in that are in that affordability range. Um, definitely uh, should check them out. Um, and you saw some of the accessories. I uh, said that uh, keyboard uh, from Logitech is designed specifically for use cases like this, where you're in a living room setting. You're in your couch or your chair and you want to surf the web and you don't want to be typing using a um, conventional remote, right? That's kind of painful. Uh, use a real keyboard, backlit keys. You have an embedded touch um, touchpad and mouse and all that. So you don't need a secondary, uh, a secondary mouse. You can have everything on that one slab of plastic. Uh, and did I mention the keys were backlit? Yeah, I think I did. Um, and then of course that Microsoft wireless display adapter, that little wireless dongle that you can put in the back of your TV, you get instant wireless connectivity between your Windows uh, device, be it a, a laptop or you know, a tablet or Windows phone, if they still have those, um, but you can wirelessly connect to your TV um, and it can be productive because it could be a separate screen, but you're, you can put your, your, um, your uh, your spreadsheets on there and do work or you know work on one screen and watch Netflix on another you, you can do whatever you want and I mean it's perfect for traveling because in every hotel room they have TVs like this right so why not get one of those dongles um, so yeah anyway, I hope you like this review of the Samsung uh, 43 inch version uh, of their 4k uh, lineup of uh, TVs um, and of course uh, yeah now listen leave some comments below I've been a little bit slow in my comments lately because I've been really really busy but I'm coming back now to my comment section, so we'll be responding. So check out the comments, leave a comment. Um, and also, um, like this video if you liked it, and uh, give me some suggestions for what other TV models you're looking at that you want me to review, um, uh, or anything else for that matter, uh, in, in the realm of gadgets, gaming, and gizmos, or gaming gadgets and gizmos. You, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway till next time, Happy gaming, happy TV watching. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed that last video. So a couple of things before you leave. Number one, subscribe to this channel right now. Click on the button that says subscribe below this channel right now. And um, number two, like this video if you like it, be honest. And uh, number three, I wanna hear some comments from you. So let me know what videos you want me to do, you know, what particular product, if it's a game, just leave a comment below and let me know. That way I can give you better content going forward. Now, one other thing, you should subscribe uh, and you should also check out the links below this video too because I have links to uh, where you can get all the products that you see on my videos online at great deals. 
um, as well as links to my my website as well so by you know going checking out links by definitely subscribing you also will be understanding how you can be eligible for 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 giveaways right so I'm gonna be doing all kinds of cool giveaways on stuff like what you see behind me you know Game Boy accessories you name it um, and that's another thing as well in the comments let me know what giveaways you want me to do as well so that's it everybody so quick recap subscribe leave your comments and um, definitely um, check check out my website as well uh, so by subscribing and going to my website you'll understand how you can participate in the giveaways uh, what well, of course one of the requirements is you have to be subscribed so it's a no-brainer so anyway guys till next time happy gaming